guys, welcome back to part two. Just a heads up, we're not really keeping scores here. I'm just using some new wedges and playing a nice little uh, brand new golf course I've never played for in my life. But as you can see right there, there's a little uh, thing there, fly over 101 meters, 110 yards. Hardest hole on the course according to this. I'm not too sure why, but when I got up to the green and I saw how small that green was, it's incredible. It's like landing on a pimple or a nipple, you know what I mean? Like it was tiny. Um, yep, and once again using the Volvic golf balls. They're not going too bad for a bit of a bump and run kind of ball, but as for check, I'm not getting too much. But as you can see, if you didn't watch part one, it's wet, it's getting greasy, and stupid me, I forgot to bring a golf club. Um, with these little par three courses, all I ever bring is a wedge, you know, a wedge and a putter, anything else. It's no holes over 100 meters, so there's no need to bring anything else, but lesson learned next time, I'm definitely bringing a glove. As you can see right there, I landed both left on the side there, so I've got two par putts there. I'd probably say I'm probably playing pretty average to poor right now, mainly because I'm on a lunch break from work and I'm using my two brand new wedges, which I've never really used before apart from the demo night. Uh, so I'm going to guess there's a couple of bogeys, not really keeping score as I said before. But the weather's really moving in now, as you'll see in the next few holes. I've actually had to put the umbrella up, the brand new ping umbrella. And uh, yeah, so uh, look, honestly, the course itself is in great condition. It's very sandy and I think you're going to get that right next to the to the river right there. So for someone like me who has such a downward swing and I rely on like a big pop in the divot, you really quite sink into the ground and you don't, I don't really find I'm getting as much distance as I normally do. But also too, with that rain coming down, as you can see with my shirt, I am drenched. As you all know, when you play with wet grip, you, you lose a lot of distance mainly or you're hoping just to hold on to the bloody club. But look here, I like how they've kind of got the bunkers here like a lynxy style kind of wasteland. I don't know if that's their intention or they just have a motor, but I quite like it. Horrible little bunker shot, bunker shot I had to play there, but I just had to dig it out and without, um, you know, snapping my club there. But yep, uh, bunker police, I have raked, well, kind of. Um, but there I am there, and look, honestly, I'm getting frustrated now because it's just raining and the old Scotty grip's wet, and I'm looking for any excuse but to blame myself for the poor golf. So, but this hole here leads back to the clubhouse, and I took about a five minute break. There we go, sunk a par putt. Got a pack of barbecue chips and a cold can of coke, and I was on my way again. But, and stupid me, I didn't have the camera facing the flag. But a par and a bogey right there isn't too bad considering it's raining. And yeah, not keeping scores. I'm quite enjoying this little course. $18 for 18 holes again. Uh, but as you can see right there, all the all the holes, if you can see in the corner there, they're really quite condensed. So I would hate to play here, and there's a knife, by the way. I would hate to play here when this is full, because I tell you what, this would probably be like a war zone. Um, these are two shots after I've had a five or ten minute break, so as you can see, very, very, very thin, very skinny. Not quite happy, but on reflection when I realise, as well, look at the rain coming down now, like that is, um, it's actually raining. When you can see it on camera, you know it's really quite coming down. That was really pouring down right there. And here it is here. At this stage, I was really getting ready just to pack up in the car and go home. But as I said in part one, I was actually quite interested to go back and hear some of those weird noises coming from that hell, that um, hostel or whatever that place was down the back here because I don't know what they were, but <laughs> I was laughing. and But yeah, anyway.